What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own DIY electric skateboard just like this one. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the parts you need, the tools you need, and all the things I'd like to fix about my board and the reasons that I'm about to rebuild it. So here we go. Uh, first, let me say that I've been building electric skateboards for a few years now. I started when I was about 14. I'm 17 now, so I have quite a bit of experience. Uh, here, I can show some pictures of my past builds. As you can see, I've experimented with a lot of different enclosure designs and parts. Uh, so yeah, let me just share my thoughts on how I would build the best electric skateboard. When you're building your own electric skateboard, there's a few factors you need to consider before you uh, buy parts. First of all, your price range. That's probably the biggest thing that uh, holds people back. Secondly, the range. Third, the top speed. Fourth, the weight. And the last thing is the style of deck you want. The parts I'm going to be replacing on my board are, one, the deck, secondly, the wheels, third, the motor, uh, fourth, enclosure for my remote controller, uh, I'm going to be making it smaller, and fourth, I'm making new plastic enclosures for my batteries and my speed controller. Alright, now I'm going to go over all the parts on an electric skateboard that you're going to need uh, for your build. So, here we go. Alright, so starting off at the back of the board, we have our wheels. Uh, the wheels I'm running right now are 97mm ABEC 11 flywheels. Uh, the reason you use flywheels is because they have a hollow core with holes in them. Here's a picture. Um, that way you can run your bolt for your wheel pulley through that and it's secure. The motor I'm using currently is a 190kV 6355 motor. Holding that onto the trucks is a motor mount from DIYelectricskateboards.com. I'm running a 16 tooth motor pulley, a 36 tooth wheel pulley, and a 300 millimeter by 9 millimeter belt. The trucks I'm using are caliber 44 degree trucks. I'm also using some small riser pads just to give it a little extra clearance with the big wheels. Alright, the next thing I'll quickly go over is the speed controller. I'm using the DIY electric skateboard 6S 120 amp speed controller. And right here I have mounted my GT2B receiver. You're also going to need a battery. I know you can't see much because it's in the enclosure, but once I break this board apart I'll show you that in more detail. But this is a 6S 2P uh, LiPo battery. Uh, it's 10,400 milliamp hours success and yeah final thing to talk about is my Boston Mission 36 that I modified to no longer be a drop through deck just a solid deck symmetrical no kicktails decent deck just not what I'm looking for now I'm gonna be going over all the parts you're gonna need to build your own electric skateboard number one good set of Allen keys Number two, a socket to remove your wheel nuts. Number three, some thread locker for all your bolts. Number four, some wire and connector for connecting your batteries to your speed controller. Number five, a bunch of shrink tubing. Also going to need some snips, a soldering gun, some solder and flux. And another optional item that helps for making closures and heat shrink tubing is a heat gun.
All right, so now you know all the tools, all the parts, and almost everything you need to know to build your own electric skateboard. Uh, if you want me to make a part two where I build up a new deck and switch out a bunch of these parts, just let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully this was uh, a helpful video for some people, and yeah, subscribe.